Hi friends, I'm Barry Mandel, the president of Discovery Green, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to the opening of the park's newest asset, the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club Grand LA. Twelve years ago when the park opened, it was a very different picture on this side of downtown. Actually, it was only the park, the George R. Brown Convention Center, and Hilton Americas. Today, it's a very different story. After $1.25 billion worth of new construction around the park, we now have a very vital east side of downtown. No grand opening would be complete in our city without words from our mayor. And it's my pleasure now to introduce Mayor Sylvester Turner. Hello, this is Mayor Sylvester Turner. It is my great pleasure to announce the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club Sustainability Project. It is transforming a once dark downtown corner into an innovative LED lighting design powered by 100% clean energy from Green Mountain Energy. Discovery Green has been transformative for Houston ever since a group of visionaries headed by Maconda Brown and Nancy Kender had the idea for a green space that would bring Houstonians together. In the 12 years the park has been open, it serves as a village green for our city, a source of health and happiness for our citizens, and a window into the incredible diversity of talents and traditions that enrich life in Houston. Downtown Houston is now a place where people live, work, and play. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you for all you do for the city of Houston. While I'm on the subject of thank yous, I have to thank Green Mountain Energy Sun Club once again. Their donation to Discovery Green's $13 million capital campaign has made this grand LA possible. This new LA and its lighting is artistic, it's exciting, and it's efficient. And it's allowed Discovery Green to continue its history of being a leader in sustainability and green. You know, Green Mountain Energy has been with this park since its earliest days. They opened the park with us, and they've continued to provide us with 100% energy efficient, clean energy. We are grateful for this partnership. And something tells me that this donation holds a special place for Green Mountain Energy Sun Club. So for more of that, let's hear from Johnny Richardson with Green Mountain Energy. Thank you, Barry. I'm Johnny Richardson, Program Manager for the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club, and I am thrilled to be a part of the grand opening of the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club Grand LA and to celebrate Green Mountain's long-standing partnership with Discovery Green. Stacy and I are so proud to welcome Discovery Green into our family of beneficiaries. Thanks to this project that we're celebrating tonight, the Sun Club has reached a huge milestone this year, donating our 10 millionth dollar and we are very excited to share this incredible announcement with all of you. As Barry mentioned before, Green Mountain Energy is Discovery Green's official green energy provider since 2008. And together with the Sun Club, we are happy to be a part of the reason on why Discovery Green truly is green. And in the partnership of those past 12 years, 34 million pounds of CO2 has been avoided by the park. That's equivalent to over 6 million households turning off their lights for a day. And that's simply by choosing cleaner energy over traditional fossil fuels. Now I'm a firm believer that small choices can lead to big impacts. For example, did you know that Discovery Green welcomes over 1.5 million visitors to the park each and every year? And if every visitor were to change just one traditional light bulb for an LED light bulb, the net energy savings would be equivalent to all Texas households, not just turning off their lights for one day, but for an entire week. Now that's impactful. Green Mountain Energy, the nation's longest serving retail energy provider dedicated to cleaner energy, offers its customers the opportunity to make a difference in the world simply by choosing cleaner energy. And of course, having the option to donate to the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club. The Sun Club was founded in 2002 to support nonprofit organizations such as Discovery Green, and we have funded projects ranging from renewable energy to natural resource conservation. The Sun Club wholly exists because of Green Mountain Energy, its employees, 
and most importantly, the customers that donate to the program. The Sun Club has funded over 122 unique projects across Texas and the Northeast. And as we celebrate this key milestone in 2020, we remain as committed as ever to helping sustainability projects reach their potential in the communities that we serve. Now at this time, I'd like to welcome back Discovery Green Conservancy's president, Barry Mandel, so that we can continue on the Sun Club tradition of flipping the switch. What do you say, Barry? Thank you, Johnny. And please thank all the Green Mountain Energy Sun Club associates. One last thank you before we light our beautiful new Grand LA. And that goes out to the Discovery Green Board of Directors. It's their energy, it's their effort that has made this master plan possible. And now, please join me at home as we light our new Grand LA. Five, four, three, two, And now let's turn this lighting ceremony into a real celebration. It's a pleasure to introduce tonight our performer. She is a Kinder HSPVA senior, a semi-finalist on NBC's The Voice, and she is Houston's own. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce Sarah Grace and the Soul. In the shadow of a lonely man, I watch you win. In the world of a tired pair, I see him bleed. In the world of a worn out pair, I feel him need. When you're almost there and you can't see the ending, when you're so tired. Off the ground, renounce your sin. Cause I'm never gonna let you around till you let yourself in. When you're almost there and you can't see the ending, when you're so done and tired of being right, when all you need is someone to hold you in the night. You're not Can't see the ending 
You're so down and tired of being right When all you need is someone to hold you in the night You're not called You're Not Alone. Um, I wrote it a while ago. This next one is a tune that I wrote just down the block from this very nice, beautiful new space that we have the honor of premiering here today. Um, I wrote this at HSPBA, which is my wonderful high school. I'm so excited to be starting my senior year at PBA. I study trumpet there, and I'm so grateful for the amazing teachers and faculty at PBA and how involved they are with Discovery Green. Um, it's been so cool getting to play all kinds of different events um, with groups at PBA and with my own band here at Discovery Green. So it's so many memories um, all around downtown right here. Um, this next song is called Funny You Ask. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right. This last song that we've got for y'all is all about a journey. I wrote it a couple years ago, and it was the title track of my tour and the title track of an EP that I sold on that tour. And I think it perfectly sums up um, this whole experience for us. Again, Ray, my sister Reagan and I are so honored to be here premiering this space at Discovery Green. We grew up here. We've played on these playgrounds. We've seen so many concerts here. We've played so many concerts here. And... I remember the first concert that we played here um, was right about when the new HSPVA campus was being built, and I saw the street signs that had HSPVA and the arrow towards it, and it was so exciting. Um, and now I get to go to school every day right next to this beautiful, beautiful park. So we're very thankful to have this space available to us and to get to be a part of it. So this last song is called 10,000 Steps. I boarded the plane and headed for the beats, yeah Out of sight Feeling all right Ooh. Feet on the ground, you know that it was such a night Starry lights Feeling all say a huge thank you to Discovery Green for having us out. It means so much to get to do this and to get to play music again this year. Woo! I said, well, pass me by, cause I'm flying high. now I'm gonna scrape the sky. Pass me by 